Hey, we're here in beautiful uh, Doswell, Virginia. We're at the Equine Extravaganza, and I'm standing next to uh, an old friend, Debbie Metcalf, and it's Net Posse Stolen Horse. And, uh, you know, you do a lot of great things with uh, helping people find horses if they're lost, track horses and the like, whether they're lost or stolen. Mm -hmm. But you've got a brand new little thing here you're talking about. Brand Tell us about that. Brand new little gizmo here. It's called the... Farm ID tag, it's a QR code that helps you get your horse home in seconds. And with this QR code, we've written a database for farmidtag.com. And if you have one of these codes on your horse when it's lost, say if it bucks you off, runs down the trail, or if it's in your mane when there's a disaster that strikes, somebody can come along with their cell phone and they can hover over this, they can read it, and it pops up information right away and tells them exactly who the horse goes back to and even has pictures of the horse. Wow. Well, you know, everybody sees these little codes, the little squares with all the squiggly like lines in them. But, you know, we know that you, uh, you microchip horses, and, of course, microchip is a, is a, stays with a horse forever. But if your horse would be lost or flooding or whatever, we've had some flooding issues recently where horses just kind of showed up in other places, those shows up in the yard of somebody that is not necessarily a horse person, they wouldn't know to look for a microchip or to think about scanning for one. But that, hanging on a collar, hanging in the main, they'd, they'd know that that had some merit to it. Yes, they would. You know, we always like microchips. But the, one of the biggest complaints we get about microchips is that you can't see them. Now, that doesn't bother me a bit because it's the VIN number that goes with my horse everywhere, and he's not going to lose that. But this little tag is kind of like a, it fills in the gap. So for the people that has to have something visual, so you just get the little tag, you program your information in on a database, and then you hang it on your saddle when you go riding, or you hang it on your bridle. You know, did you know that most horses, when they buck their rider off and they're lost, still have their saddle on? I would imagine they would, yeah. Yeah, sometimes they lose the bridles, sometimes they lose the saddles, but with the horses we've dealt with, most of them still have the saddle on, so it might be a good place to put it on the saddle. And whoever finds your horse, rather than take it somewhere else and not know where it's supposed to go back to, they give you a call. And, you know, even if you've microchipped, putting this on as a secondary alternative is not a bad idea. No, it's not. I mean, you're, really, your horse can't have enough ID to suit me because, you know, there's a gap in everything. Right. There's nothing that's perfect. So if this one does this thing, then something else does something else. And so you combine them all together, and then you come up with the perfect ID. Well, you've had some good seminars here in Virginia, too, right? Yes, I have. I, I did disaster planning this time because, you know, we've worked with victims in Oklahoma. We've worked in victims in Colorado. And what we see are the victims after the aftermath. You know, we're not in on the planning part. We're in on the recovery part. Find the, find the owner, find the animal. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole different world there that these people don't see. So when I do my disaster planning seminars, we don't just go over, get ready, do the checklist. It's, this is what's going to happen if you don't. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you, and you've got your little uh, code there again. What's yeah. the card? It's farmidtag.com is where you go to get your uh, code. Okay, farmidtag.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you register it there, and uh, it's it's a wonderful thing. I'm I'm you know I get excited about ID. Yeah. I really do, and I get excited about. I can tell. Horses. Can you tell? <laughs> Every time a horse comes home, I you know it's yeah. that's what pays me off. Right, right. Well, thanks, Debbie, very much. Thank you. And you stay with us here on Speaking of Horses. We're in Virginia. We're at the Equine Extravaganza in Doswell. More coming right here. Bye.